Hi, hello. This is Anup here. And in this video, what we are going to see is how to install SCM client on Windows Server 2022, right? So as you can see, I have already started the installation process and in the task manager, you would be able to see uh, the CCM setup is going on, okay? And a CCM setup exe is running and uh, this is my primary server uh, that is 20 over 2022 it's just finished right the CCM setup just got finished so before going into logs let me show you how did I install it right I installed it from the command prompt using the administration administrator rights you need to have administrator rights this is one way of installing the SSCM client on the servers. This is called manual installation of client, right? There are different ways to install SSCM client, but this is one of the way, okay? And I have used this particular command so that it won't download the content from management point or distribution point basic and i have already mentioned the site code also in this command line i did run the ccm setup.exe that is the best method or best practice to install a ccm client rather than using any msi or something like that right so this is the source file uh, which you can find within SSCM primary server or configuration manager primary server itself. There are some different files as well. Let me show you the log files, right? Where is the exact log files for this particular CCM setup, right? So if you go to Windows and CCM setup, you would be able to see a log file folder over here. In the log files, you can you would be able to see ccm setup dot log. If I open that up with the cm trace tool, log file reader tool, you would be able to see some errors, right? And it says failed MDM failed. I'm not worried about MDM, uh, but this is not going to be a an <laughs> MDM managed device, right? Uh, Intune is not going to manage the servers, so that is why I'm not worried about MDM, right? So let me look into another log file. Initially, we looked into ccm setup.log, that is the main log file, and that if that is not giving you the exact details, then you need to open for the further troubleshooting or further information, you need to look into client msi dot client dot msi dot log, right? And I normally search with return value return value three. Okay, so that I will get the exact error details if there is any error, right? So there is no return value zero. I'm sorry, return value three entry in this particular error that means i would assume the installation is successful right now let's let's go to the console okay and go to assets and complaints and device collections probably i'm going to look into the devices and search for this particular device this is the server if i say host name over here you would be able to see this is cm mem cm so that is a file sorry that is a device and you can see the client is installed you can see the client is installed and this is this is installed through the manual method and the other method of installation client installation for the servers is you can use client push method for each server. I think for testing purpose, that is also can that also can be used, right? You can see uh, there's an option called install client from here. If you click on that, you will need to go through the installation wizard for client push, okay? And you will have to go through all these details. I'm going to put a link in the description of this video that will explain what is the, this exact pros with all the troubleshooting, et cetera, et cetera. And I did a SSCM training, basic training, where I explained all these 
features and functionalities of a CM as well, right? So probably you can go through that as well to find more details, right? So you need to select, okay? So that is what I'm going to do. Always install a client or install a specific client. If you are using domain controller, if you are trying to install SSM client on domain controller, you can use this. So that these are the options you need to kind of follow through. The online icon of this client will come up a bit later. That is going to take some time. If you want, you can check this status from control panel as well. And even in server 2022, we have control panel. So control panel, configuration manager. Okay, this is the configuration manager applet where you can check what is happening, what are the components installed, disabled, enabled, etc., etc. right? All these things you can see. So at the moment, there are only two actions available because all the policies are not deployed to this particular client because probably because of the boundaries, because in the boundaries, probably I have not added the server IP segment. This is These are the IP ranges I added uh, in the boundary group. So let me check what is the IP of this particular server, right? That is 106. 106 is not here. It starts from 09. So I need to add that IP to get this particular server managed. I'm going to add a create a boundary over here, server boundary. I'm going to say IP range. I'm going to put this particular IP that is 10106. 10, 1, 0, 6, 10, 1, 0, 6. Okay. And once the boundary is created, I'm going to add that type boundary to my, this is not the correct one, right? But for this demo purpose, I'm going to add, uh, probably I will change this, right? And so, so. Okay, and I'm going to add a boundary over here. That is a new one which we added, server boundary, into this particular boundary group. Then the client will get the appropriate policies, etc., etc. After that, uh, you would be able to see all these actions coming back. There would be a lot of actions here. Right? I don't remember the exact count, but probably seven or eight. So thank you all for watching. Hope this was helpful. See you next time. Bye-bye.